In August 2017, staff from Architect Without Borders UK came to Freetown, Sierra Leone to run a participatory planning and design workshop in conjunction with the Sierra Leone Urban Research Center, the Development Planning Unit, which is a department of the Bartlett Faculty of the Built Environment of University College London, and Njala University. The aim of this workshop which used the ASF UK change by design methodology was to explore how planning can bring about inclusive city making. Workshop attendees were split into three groups, each aiming to understand planning at a different scale, home, neighborhood, and city. Morning preparation sessions were held at the Slack office before traveling to Kokubi an informal settlement in the city and the workshops area of focus. The week was split into four stages, diagnosing, dreaming, developing, and defining. The diagnosing stage was aimed at understanding the current situation in Kokul Bay, focusing on the problems that residents experience, as well as the potential and opportunities for change. Working in the Slack office allowed the teams to familiarize themselves with maps of Koko Bay and decide on four categories of neighborhood features to be mapped. Economic, social, environmental, and physical. After traveling to the site and meeting the residents for the first time, the work began. For some participants, this involved walking around Koko Bay in small groups, getting to know the area, and mapping out specific features and visiting residents' homes. Others focused on working with maps of the city. The dreaming stage was an opportunity for the community to think about changes they would most like to see in their homes, neighborhood, and city. The two areas in Koko Bay with the highest concentration of points of interest from the previous day's mapping exercise were selected to be the focus point going forward, with groups instructed to think about what should happen in these selected spaces. This was undertaken in order to reveal aspirations and hopes for improvement in the area and how inclusive urban development might better respond to the needs of local residents. At the end of the session, members from each group shared their collective dreams for the two sites. So this other side, now who side we want to make a bridge there because school day around here. So the bridge there, the kitchen will be well protected. And not only there, please, please. please. And not so only any kind of bridge or wooden bridge, no one done there. The developing stage was concerned with assessing and improving a number of potential planning and design options before deciding on the best course of action. Multiple options were needed as there are many different routes to achieving aspirations and dreams. After morning preparations in the office, the team traveled to Koko Bay for the final time. This day saw the teams working in their groups at different skills, taking the outputs from the previous day's dreaming session and assessing stakeholders, timeframes, cost, and potential beneficiaries. Each group presented their plans, identifying themes and ideas that were common to all and discussing how next steps could be inclusively decided. Six months ago for complete this project and people who access the field and the community. The final day was devoted to the defining stage. This initially saw groups have their final meetings as they defined five points that were required for a more inclusive free town at their specific skill. Participants from the different groups then worked together to consolidate their findings from across the three skills. Members from each skill explain what they have been working on to other groups 
and then identified common themes and discussed priorities for action, revealing the challenges and opportunities for implementing future action. As a final act, the entire group worked together to produce a manifesto, including conditions that they felt were necessary to move towards an inclusive free town through participatory neighborhood planning. The staff of SLUC, ASF UK, the DPU, and Njala University wants to thank everyone who took part in this workshop, especially the residents of Kokube, who wholeheartedly welcomed us into their community. We hope that this pilot project is going to lead to a long-term collaborative research initiative between ASF UK, SLUC, and the residents of various informal settlements in Freetown. For more information, please visit the SLUC website or SLUC on social media.